Good morning. Another day and another dog, if you're an asana practitioner, and another day and another pranayama, if you're a student of breath. So, Hridaya Mudra, another way of doing Hridaya Mudra. If you fold the ring finger into the palm, and then you touch the tip of the thumb to the index and middle, and the pinky just stays where it is, Hridaya Mudra. This touches one of the marma points, like the acupuncture, accurate pressure points from Ayurveda and here and that help to open the heart see so from here today we're doing Antar Kumbhak plus Mulbanda holding the inhale and then squeezing the root lock which means pull the whole perineal floor and lower abdominal area back or in and then up and then uh, exhale through the alternate nostrils going through these four cycles, open nostril, then partially closed nostril on the inhale, partially closed nostril on the exhale, and then both partially closed nostrils on the inhale and the exhale. All right, <clears throat> let's get to it. Find your seat. Where's the plumb line, the thread of Brahma Sutra? Brahma Sutra. Once you know where the median plane is, divide the right and left side equally, so the two sides of the chest expand both laterally and up upwards vertically. Keep the back body wide. And lengthen the back of your neck as you slowly drop your chin into Jalandhara Vanda. Take a few restorative breaths and see where you are. Analoma, remember the exhale is always longer than the inhale, so time it such that you're releasing more on the exhale. All right, on your next exhale, raise your hand. Widen both nostrils and inhale. Wait there and now pull the root lock. Release the lock, block the left, open the right, exhale. Then open both, inhale. Wait there, pull the root lock. Release the lock, block the right, open the left, exhale. Release your hand and restore the breath. According to the Gita, remember the yogis offer as a sacrifice one breath into the next breath. Second cycle, first round. Raise the hand, widen the nostrils, breathe in. Wait there, pull the root lock. Release the lock, block left, open right, exhale. And inhale, both nostrils. Wait there, squeeze the root lock. Release the lock, block right, open left, exhale. Relax and restore the breathing. Exhale, one and done, raise the hand. Widen nostrils, breathe in. Wait there, squeeze Mulbanda. Release the lock, block left, open right, exhale. Open both, inhale. Wait there, pull the root lock. Release the lock, block right, open left, exhale. the hand and restore the breathing. So we begin with paying attention. We move from paying attention to developing insight into the interrelationship of things. That's called wisdom. 
And then eventually we develop what we call intuitive awareness, a sense of felt rightness. But it begins by having a foundation of knowledge of your breath rhythm, of the conscious deliberate regulation of that rhythm to overcome any kind of unconscious patterns of breathing that we develop. All right, second round. Narrowed nostrils inhale, Mubanda open nostril exhale. As you release the breath, raise the hand. Narrow both nostrils and breathe in. Wait there. Pull the Mubanda. Release the lock, block left, open right, exhale. Narrowed both nostrils, breathe in. Pause, squeeze the root lock. Release the lock, block right, open left, exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breathing. All right, so from cycle to cycle, differentiate. How does the breath work when the nostrils are wide? How does the breath work when the nostrils are partially closed, with the root block, without the root block? All of these become the permutations and combinations, the variety of controls that you learn and see what your body does. Raise the hand, narrow both nostrils, breathe in. Wait there, pull the root block. Release the lock, lock left, open right, exhale. Narrow both nostrils, breathe in. Wait there, Kumulabanda. Release the lock, block right, open left, exhale. Relax the hand, restore the breath. Third cycle, second round, raise the hand, narrow both nostrils, breathe in. Squeeze the root lock. Release the lock, block left, open right, exhale. Narrow both nostrils, breathe in. Wait there, pull the root lock. Release the lock, block right, open left, exhale. Relax your hand, restore to breathing. So now at the gross physiological level, <clears throat> the human anatomy depends upon oxygen and the circulation of that oxygen to build those red blood corpuscles and give a strong vigor of life into all our tissues provide a solid um, defense for our immune system. Like a fire in a poor draft burns dimly, so the body's metabolic fire needs oxygen to keep it going. All right, now we're up to the third cycle. So that's where we have open nostril inhale, mulabanda, partially closed nostril alternate exhale. Let's get to it. Exhale your next breath. Pull those ribs up and wide. Raise the hand, open nostril, inhale. Now, squeeze the root lock. Means rectal muscles, perineal muscles, and lower abdominal area, in and up. 
let it glow. Block left, partially closed right, exhale. Open both nostrils, inhale. Wait there, pull the root lock. Release the lock, block right, partially closed left, exhale. Relax your hand and breathe in. So when we do these various nostril opening or closing techniques, you have to find out, are you using technique? Are you learning how to make it smooth? Don't say, oh, any old technique will do. You have to find the balance even as you make the different variations, which takes time and having practiced it again and again to find out how your body um, relates to it. All right, second cycle in the third round. Raise the hand, wide nostrils, inhale. Wait there, pull the root lock. Release the lock, block left, narrow right, exhale. Open both nostrils, breathe in. Wait there, squeeze Mulabanda. Let it go, block right, narrow left, exhale. Relax your hand. Restore the breathing. Third cycle, third round. Raise the hand, do it with ease, do it, be simple. Open nostril, inhale. Wait there, squeeze the root lock. Let it go. Block left, partially close the right, exhale. Open both inhale. Wait. Root lock. Let go. Block right, partially close left, exhale. your hand, restore to breathing. All right, so now the fourth cycle, partially closed nostrils on the inhale, root lock, partially closed alternate nostril on the exhale. So this is where you really have to pay attention. Let the breath find its avenue in your torso it, that isn't visible to the physical eyes. You have to search out every nook and cranny. And if you do it that way, then you're really doing pranayama. Exhale the breath. Here we go. Raise the hand. Narrow both nostrils. Breathe in. Wait there. Pull Mula Bandha. Let go. Block left. Narrow the right. Exhale. Arrow both nostrils, inhale. You don't feel like you're getting enough breath, widen the nostril, narrow it. Widen the nostril, narrow it till you get control. Block right, narrow left, exhale. Relax the hand, restore the breath. Now, doing these variations and combinations, what it really teaches you, if you expand your ideas about what pranayama is, you widen your practice. You open it up. You don't keep it limited to what it says in books. You have to discover through investigation and curiosity and then develop it. Second cycle, 
fourth round. Exhale your breath. Raise your hand. Narrow both nostrils. Breathe in smoothly, silently, softly, quietly. Now, block through the mulabandha. Pull that root block up. Let it go. Block left, partially closed right. Exhale. Partially close both nostrils. Inhale. Wait there. Block right. Excuse me. Mubanda. Let it go. Block right. Narrow left. Exhale. Hand, slowly breathe in. All right, one more cycle. Raise the hand. Narrow both nostrils, breathe in. Stop, pull the root block. Keep your chest lifted on the exhale. Let the lock go. Block left. Narrow right. Exhale. Both nostrils inhale. Partially closed. Wait there. Squeeze the root lock. Let it go, block left, open right, narrowed nostrils right, exhale. Narrowed nostrils, inhale, last one. Wait there, squeeze the root lock. Let go, block right, narrow left, exhale. Relax your hand, restorative breathing. Slowly bring your head up. Slowly raise your, open your eyes. There we go. So I hope that you learned something else to continue your own fresh approach to pranayama practice and also bring something new and different into everything that you do in your daily life. So just as there's always room for improvement in your, in your practice, there's always room for bringing better attention into your daily life and probing deeper till fresh insights develop for you. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And of course, by the way, I'm really glad to be alive today. And I hope that you are too. A shout out to Kim Weber and all our yoga practitioners who are teachers in the education system. And of course, I don't say this every day, but in my heart, I think about it. And anybody else who's out there helping to move things along and taking whatever appropriate risks there are um, to benefit us all. We thank you for your service for sure.